Hi guys, it's Brian with BNT Garage. Gonna do a quick update on the hoverboard plastic dip job. Okay, it's been, I don't know how many months since we plastic dipped the hoverboard. As you might expect, when you ride a hoverboard, you fall, well, especially when I ride it, you fall off a little bit. It does take a beating, uh, and this is what it looks like after, I wanna say what, four or five months of pretty hard abuse from Trentonians. The concrete really just beats the hell out of it. Yeah, so you can see some of that plaster dip is in those scratches. You're not gonna be able to get that out real easy. Uh, and then here's a little bit. So you can see it just comes right off. And this might be a problem for depending on what you're gonna dip. If it's gonna get scratched up, it's gonna be hard to take off. All right guys, that's the update to the plastic dip cover board. Turned out pretty good. It was easy to get off because I put enough coats on there. Just uh, be aware that if you expect it to be some sort of like armor coating, it's not gonna do that. Uh, maybe for slight scratches and stuff, it will prevent it, you know, but the way people ride hoverboards, the way I ride it, and Trenton's a crazy maniac on it, so you, there's gonna be falls and it rolls across the concrete. It's not gonna prevent scratches in that kind of situation. Be sure to put enough coats on there. Or it's gonna be hard as hell to pull it off and nice big sheets. That's what you want. Stay tuned for the next video. On that video, we're gonna sand all those scratches out, do some plastic repair if we need to, which I think we do. And then we're gonna pick some crazy base and a crazy color, and we're gonna use some of the new products from Dip Your Car, like a pearl and a top coat, maybe some color changing, crazy stuff. Crazy. All right, stick around, watch the next video, and until then, uh, deuces. Crazy.